Okay, let us start with these pictures. Let's look at these pictures. I want you all to name these pictures. So let's name the first one. What is it pointed to? Yes. Very good. Everybody? Toe. Second one? Rose. Very good. Again? Toast. this 
one, we are going to use O A. Again, using what I just told you, what will we use here? Again? O E, because this is the one that we usually use at the end. Right? So O is O E. What are we going to use here? Yes? O A, not O E, because O A is the one that we use in the middle, right? How about this one? Is this correct? Yes. It's the open one. There is two space, so we use O E open. How about O go? Is that correct? No. So what are we going to use here? Yes. Very good. We're going to use O E together because we usually use O E to at the end if it's at the end. How about four? Is this correct? Huh? No. What are we to use for four? O E. Why should I use O E? O E together is mostly found at the end. How about this? Is this correct? Why? It has O, but was there a line here? No, there was no line here. There is no given line. So what should I use on, in the middle? Yes. Very good. O A for boat. Is love correct? Yes, right? Any question about using the OE together, OE separate or OA? Any question? No? Let's quickly go over it then. When do we use the OE together or when do we mostly use the OE together? Yes. At the ending. How about the OE separate? When do we use it? When there is two lines and there is a letter in the middle, right? It can be one letter or two. How about the OA? When will we use the OA? Yes. In the middle of a word. Okay, very good, guys. Now let's look at our story. Let me start. It says, Joe, Mo, and the Obo. That is the title of the story. Title of the story, Joe, Mo, and the Oboe. Joe was a master at the Oboe. He made music all day long with his Oboe. Joe's home was next to Mo's home. Mo was a master baker. He baked bread all day long. Mo didn't like Joe's Oboe. One day, Joe and Mo were sitting on the porch. Mo groaned when Joe picked up the oboe. He said, Would you trade that oboe for a loaf of bread? No! Joe wouldn't trade it for a loaf. Joe set the oboe down. Then Mo picked up the oboe. He started to tiptoe away with it. What are you doing? Joe was mad. Give me back my oboe. Mo did not put down the oboe. But then he tripped and fell. He smacked his toenail on the porch seat. Okay, so who are the main characters in this story? Yes. Uh -huh. In a complete sentence, how do you answer, guys? The main characters are Joe and Mo. 
go. Very good. The main characters are Joe and Mo. Who lives beside Joe? Very good. Mo lives beside Joe. What does Joe do? Yes. He plays the oboe because he's the master of the oboe. And in the story, you can see it says it. He made, he made music all day long. So that means that he plays the oboe. What does Mo do? Yes. Very good. He bakes bread because he's a master baker, right? Now, what does Mo doesn't do? What, what does Mo don't like about Joe? The Obo. He doesn't like the Obo. Why do you think he doesn't like the Obo? Yes. He's jealous. Yes. He doesn't like the sound. Probably that's more accurate. He doesn't like the sound. It's like, for example, your neighbor putting a loud music all day long. Probably for a little while, it would be okay. But all day, how will you feel? Yes. Annoyed. Angry. You get tired of listening to it, right? At some point, you want silence. Especially if you're going to study or do something. You want to focus on your stuff, right? And so that becomes annoying. You don't want to hear it anymore. Do you think?